If you want to spice up your Instagram, then stay tuned because I'm going to show you how to pretty much have a shared Zoom screen on Instagram. Okay, not quite Zoom. It's pretty dang close, but you're going to want to start doing this for the highest engagement. Welcome back. If you are new here, make sure to subscribe because the tips that I give you is all about monetizing your social media, getting confident on camera, even though you do not have a large following. Now, before I get started, I want to remind you that nothing that I tell you requires perfection. Okay, I know a few of you, you know who you are, that you like everything to be super perfect, super pretty. I'm gonna show you how to make slides so you can share on your Instagram lives. But if the slides are taking you way too long, then don't even watch this video. The point is to stay consistent and keep your audience engaged. But if you're gonna be in Canva making these slides and it's taking you way too long, then this video is not for you. This is gonna be the easiest, most non-tech savvy way to engage your audience while you're speaking. You engage them more. You can keep their attention focused on what you're trying to tell them. So are you ready? Let me go ahead and take you to my phone and show you what I'm talking about. That way you can implement this. So I'm going to open up the stories part of Instagram as if I'm going to post a story. But once I open that, I'm going to go up to the corner and hit that draw button. Pick whatever color it is that I want, hold it so it can completely cover the screen. And obviously you can pick whatever color that goes with your brand. If you hold the color, you can customize it. Here is where it gets fun. This is going to be easier if you already have your ideas in place. If you already have the three points that you want to talk about. So you can add your title first if you have one. For example, today I'm going to talk about how to go live. So that would be one slide. Then you would put your second point. The first thing is tip number one tip number two so once you do that you're gonna save it and do the rest of the slides the second one the third one however many slides you plan on having to keep your audience engaged the area that I'm marking in red do not put any text on there because when you're live all the comments are gonna be on there sometimes different phones depending on if they have an upgraded one or not they're more squarey and right there in the corner is where your picture usually is when you're talking. So the red is off limits. So now that I have all of my slides, I'm going to act like I'm going to go live and I'm going to press go live. And the way that you share your slides is super simple. You're going to go up to the corner and in that little square, you're going to bring it up and all your slides should be right front and center. So all you're going to do is toggle that little square every time you want to switch a slide. Yes, you do have to speak and also change the slides. So if you don't feel like you're talented yet, definitely play with the practice feature of the live. But that's going to help you be interactive, including videos. So just as an FYI, if you do decide to play a video like a demo or someone's before and after anything like that, it does have a sound, but you can mute it. There's a little button in the corner that will be able to help you mute your video. So you can press stop sharing and end your live. And that's how you pretty much turn your Instagram live into a Zoom presentation. What did you think? Tell me in the comments if you are gonna implement this because I think it's time to elevate your lives. If you wanna be a live pro, download the live video PDF in the description so you can be not only consistent but prepared for your next live video. Okay, it's work time. Let's go do that slideshow and I'll see you in the next video.